So now we've landed in the client's present situation. The present situation is generally not seen as much of a problem. People tend to see the problem as the problem. So I don't have a problem with my work or with my relationship. I just have these headaches or these nightmares or this temper or this fear and get rid of my fear or my headache or my anger. Um, but usually it doesn't work that way. It's quite often that the present situation is causing it or at least allowing the earlier existing problem to manifest itself. So the present situation might be triggering it or it might actually be a very safe situation where the client is finally able to go into more deeper processing of their problems, allowing things to surface which had been repressed earlier because people were more in a survival mode. When talking about the current situation, it's very important to find out how the person really feels. Um, the person is usually used to accepting things as they are. Like, yes, we're together and we've been together for several years. Or, yeah, I'm in this job, I've been in this job for seven years already. So they don't think of it anymore as a problem or a factor. It's very similar to people who have an allergy. Like, but I can't be allergic to this cream. I've been using it for 10 years. I was never allergic to it before. And they don't realize that actually by having something for a very long time, can, it can become a problem because you change. You can become alerted to something which was good to you before. And also as we grow, things which were helping us grow, which were supporting our growth, can become obstructions, can be, become limitations to our further development as we are continuing on our path. So it's very difficult for people to reframe things like, oh, but this person is my friend, they helped me when I was in trouble. And X years down the line, the person might be really yeah, holding them back or dragging them into old habits or uh, yeah, expecting them to, uh, to stay like they were and not accepting their growth or their change. So it's important that the client is able and supported in a way reassessing their current situation and that you help them to focus and really think and feel what is going on in that current situation and also to find out of course why they got into the situation what were their expectations and how is it working out so often for instance a person will get into a job because they thought it would be an interesting career or they wanted to learn something new or do something new um, or they needed the money and after they've been there for a year or two, things will change a lot. They will have the money, they will have learned all the new things they wanted to learn and to all turn into routine again. And often these yeah, changes which sneak up on people um, can cause problems, but they're not um, problems which the person is aware of because they happen very gradually. So in talking about the current situation I tend to focus on like what are you doing for work, what are you doing for study, what are you doing on a relationship level, uh, what are you doing on a social level, how is your relationship with your siblings, parents, friends um, and also the partners, siblings, friends, parents and the also the social relationship at work or at study and to what degree is the person able to follow their own path with hobbies and interests um, do things for relaxation I also pay a particular interest in how the balance of life is because as we know we exist of several levels of being we have a physical body which needs to be stimulated to be fit to have enough energy circulation we have an emotional layer. The emotional layer needs 
space, it needs attention, it needs to be accepted to be able to express itself, to be able to change how we feel and to explore how we feel. We need to feel safe enough to do that. We also have a mental curiosity. We always like thinking about new things, learning new things, broadening our minds, our scopes. And this can be very simple by just reading a book, um, but it is very essential that we in a way allow our thoughts to be in a very constructive pattern and that don't go running around in circles because this often leads to depression and it can also be a sign of depression if such a thing happens. And of course then we have our spirit which also wants to devo yeah, develop and evolve and um, grow and often this also leads to a desire for change um, and here we also have often a conflict between in a way the homeostasis which is what our ego wants our ego wants to be safe it wants to survive it's a survival mechanism so it is very happy with a stable situation where everything has in a way its place has its routine and there is very little unexpected things happening except the unexpected things you want to happen like getting onto a roller coaster ride for instance or having a surprise party for your birthday um, but the spirit is much more adventurous in nature and uh, this can lead to a conflict between the spiritual side of a person and the ego side of a person and these conflicts are also often not realized by the conscious mind so these are often also things to look at especially if you know the past and in where the trajectory of the person's life you can catch a little bit how the spirit was in a way growing or evolving or on what goals the spirit might have had or interests the spirit might have had and if you look at the current situation you can gauge is this according to the spirit's wishes or is this more um, yeah, in a way a frozen state which occurred because the ego took control and um, is unwilling to allow the person to move forward or move out of the current situation. Moving out of the current situation also involves a lot of social pressure. There's often yeah, partners, siblings, loved ones, family members who also don't like change because also their egos will feel threatened by any growth, by any change. So it's important to um, give the person enough support and to also make sure that the person is in a situation where they can take the steps which are necessary for them. If the situation is not right for them, I basically tell them often like, I don't think we can move forward until some things in your situation change. Um, so let's work on that first and then we can look at moving forward. Uh, this is generally not something which goes down very easily with the client because the client just wants a quick fix. They don't want to change anything about the situation. They just want to get rid of the problem. But sometimes if the situation is not supportive um, then ultimately the spirit won't be able to move forward and the spirit will start sabotaging um, the situation and often this spiritual self-sabotage will manifest itself as various problems, relationship problems, health problems, emotional problems. So even though the spirit might not be in control, the ego might be in control, it can often in a way send emergency signals by yeah, creating some yeah, warning signs within the current yeah, situation. So it's always important also to look for these things and see how things relate. Um, because often things will also um, be connected to infatuations and interests. So if the spirit is trying to move in a certain direction and it feels a little bit trapped in the current situation, it will often create an infatuation or an interest or an idealization of a person who has certain qualities or abilities which the spirit itself craves. 
So it is trying to pull in the energy or to focus the mind uh, to think about these things, to think about these elements and to rekindle the interest, to rekindle the spark. So the person will start moving again, will start growing, will start moving towards these things they are attracted to. So often the attraction is not actually to the idol outside of themselves or the person they are infatuated with outside of themselves. The, often the infatuation is really with those aspects of their own being which are not getting enough space to move. And this can be of course resolved by getting out of the situation and yeah, following your idol, your path, your guru, uh, your lover. Um, but often it can also be resolved within the current situation by just creating opportunity for you to do that and trying to solicit support from your partner, from your boss, from your colleagues, uh, from your children. So you can walk your path as well as stay part of their world. So it is not always that you need to cut the current situation out completely, but um, it's possible to compromise, but if the spirit is not happy, problems will continue to manifest themselves. So it's important also for the spirit to feel at ease with the compromise. And that brings us to the next part of trying to find out what is really going on if you're listening to your client's story.